Hello popcorn junkies, welcome to this trailer reaction for a new horror film. Horror films from A24, the uh, production company, distributor, um, are a big thing because of course they brought us Talk To Me. We weren't aware of any excitement around that film until A24 thrust it into our faces. Um, and this is a film, a new film called I Saw the TV Glow. Uh, and if you look at the poster, if you look at the, uh, the image in the poster, I'm, I'm sort of getting poltergeisty kind of feels, uh, feelings, you know, it's a sort of silhouetted head in front of a sort of pink or purple kind of monitor screen with feedback on it. Um, it stars Justice Smith, um, who you'll recognise and know from Dungeons and Dragons, the recent film, I think the recent sort of underestimated film, I really enjoyed Dungeons and Dragons. This is curiously produced by Emma Stone and her partner or husband, uh, Dave McCary, uh, and they are responsible themselves for projects like The Curse uh, and uh, a series The Curse, and also uh, Problem Easter, which is another A24 indie venture. Now, as I understand it, this film sort of pivots around a favourite TV show, uh, it blurs the boundaries between reality, uh, nostalgia. I, I love stuff that kind of pivots around monitors, around television, around uh, the, the escape. I mean, even things like WandaVision, Disney Plus's WandaVision, which kind of was a TV show and then we entered the reality of their TV show. So anything that sort of plays and messes around with our sense of perception and isn't about a multiverse, I'm right up for. I've got a bit of fluff on the end of my hat. Um, I'm right up for that sort of thing. You know, anything that kind of really fucks with basically our heads, fucks with our heads, fucks with our hearts, and makes us scared batshit crazily, then um, I'm, I'm a big fan of. So, so let's check it out. Um, this is I Saw the TV Glow, and it's by a director called Jane Schoenbrunn, Schoenbrunn who's produced lots and is, is known for making really kind of out there, outlandish, wild and whacked out kind of stuff. I love whacked out. I love the less obvious stuff. I love, I love stuff that doesn't make sense. Uh, stuff that you have to kind of really work hard to get into. Um, but interesting, Emma Stone becoming quite, quite a tasty producer. I know this might sound crazy. I don't want to alarm you. Do you remember a TV show we used to watch together? It was called... The Pink of Egg? Yeah. Do you watch? Each episode, they help each other fight a new monster from across the county. But it's way too scary for most kids. If we're gonna defeat him this time, we're gonna need to harness the full potential of our shared powers. Sometimes, the Pink of Egg feels more real than real life. Manny. It was a TV show. Are you sure that's all it was? I like girls, you know that, right? Totally, that's fine. What about you? Do you like girls? I think that I like TV shows. <laughs> it's our destiny. How can I have a destiny? <laughs> Something's wrong. This is how life is supposed to feel. Tell me you know it's true. Maddie, it's, it's just the suburbs. Seems like you're always somewhere else lately. Maddie disappeared without a trace. All they found was her TV set burning in the backyard. I told myself I made the right choice. What if I really was someone else? Very far away on the other side of a television screen. Did you see that shot of the television kind of sparking like someone had a kind of angle grinder trying to hold it back, hold it back? A definite, definite progression on Poltergeist, which for me is one of the original brilliant kind of televisual sort of films. 
clearly playing all sorts. I mean, that's truly mindfuck stuff, isn't it? Years ago, I remember a film I'm getting into a festival called the Mindfuck Festival. This is mindfuckery at its mindfuckery best. It makes me, it makes me want to shit my pants, guys. Um, that looks great. I, I'm reminded how good he was as well in uh, in Dungeons and Dragons. Color palette is fantastic. The whole kind of VHS kind of white noise audio visual feedback type stuff. Then you've got these kind of indelible kind of almost tattoo like kind of do you remember detective pens in the 70s where you'd write things and it was invisible and you actually use a light or something to kind of see what you'd written it's like invisible writing you've got all that kind of stuff i'm getting sort of it follows type vibes i was feeling talk to me i got that similar sort of little buzz of oh i wonder what this could be i mean to be honest with you it's presenting so many disparate things it was hard to get a grasp on it but that's the point of a trailer or a teaser isn't it it's supposed to kind of wet the appetite get you excited and i like the progression towards clear creepy shit I was feeling David Lynch at the end there, you know, the screaming faces. You know, I'm thinking of the woman from behind the radiator in a raised head. Getting lots of kind of granular kind of stuff. Heat looks good. Who's capturing who? Even the woman sat on the bench in suburbia. I'm sort of getting Jordan Peele-esque type things. So it feels rich. It feels original, which is very, very, very difficult in this day and age. Sometimes to be original uh, requires sort of really trying too hard. So I think the test is going to be, is this a film that tries too hard to be different? Or does it actually kind of do all those kind of jumbly kind of, you know, discordant aspects kind of settle down? And, and, and make things a little bit more understandable. I like the disorientation I felt there. I like the sense of fear. I like the sense of feedback. It's like a sort of feedback of the soul. Um, it, but my mind was fucked by that. 